everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Naruto Kakashi versus Obito. So I think it's from the video game Ninja Storm. So it's like Obito coming at Kakashi this side. He's got one of those sticks coming out of his hand. One of those um, metal bars, those sort of those things he uses as weapons kind of thing um, coming out of his hand. So landscape page wide page use a pencil hit pause if i go too fast and we're going to start with kakashi so middle line of my page is here going down vertical middle right just here so we're going to start with his nose so just so middle here and then the center point is just right here so we just come over just a little bit to the right of that and then we're going to do a diagonal line for the bridge of his nose coming down like so okay diagonal and then this is going to come down for the bottom of his nose just to go that way so it's like a letter l when i'm doing a face and profile i always find it easiest to start with the nose for whatever reason it's like it's the most prominent feature i think so just at the top we have his like brow just here it's kind of crinkled up a little bit just there and then at the bottom of his nose we'll keep going down so his mouth right so we're gonna go bump it down kind of like this that'll be like his top lip and then his bottom lip kind of comes down like so as well. You can barely see it because it's covered by his face mask. So we're going diagonal now this way. And then his chin sort of comes out here. Like that. So this then will come around for his jaw. So we'll go down a little bit further and then up this way. So, and we're going to get to about here and we're going to go up towards his ear. So we're going to go like, so we're about across from the center point of his mouth there. Comes up like so. Like that. So of course Kakashi's mask then will come down just right underneath his ear. So it'll come down from his nose. So say like up here, like this, and then it will go travel down like so, and go right across towards his ear to there, All right? So his ear is like, his ear is in here, so his earlobe like just here. That a big come up, and then we we'll go around like so, back down this side, down into there, and we have some bones and ligaments sort of lines in his ear here. And then his headband will come across and close off this area. So it'll like curve across towards the top of his ear just here. So it'll go like, across like this. It'll go right across the top of his head and come out, just say here. Okay, and in here is where his eye is, but we have some like sideburn just here, like that. And then his eye is just, just in here, like in this area, okay? So we do his top eyelid first, so it like comes across, say here. Just like 
like that. And you could like thicken this up. You could add like some eyelashes there in the front. You know, because his eyelashes are going that way now. Just thickening it up a bit. And he could have a line. So for his bottom eyelid, so it kind of goes, say like down here. You could bring it, you could curve it the whole way, but in the picture there's like a little gap. So I'm just gonna leave a little bit of a gap and then add the bottom eyelashes just here. Like that. And then his iris, so he's got the Sharingan inside on this eye, so it's a red one, so curve it. Well, it's the same shape, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really make much of a difference, but it just comes around. So, just there. So he's like looking down this way. And then we have pupil in the middle there. And like little sort of dashes just around for the sharing gun. And maybe some like tiny little dots or something going around here. But you can't see much of the detail in there. And then some lines just going this way underneath, sort of bags under his eye. And oh, you can see his scar coming down as well. So, like, coming down here. So, and then above that, so we have his eyebrow, so it just kind of ticks up underneath his headband, so it goes up like here, and he's frowning, so it goes up this way, and he could have some frown lines and stuff inside the eye, just here, and he's an eyelid line just underneath. Just like so. Just there. Could have a line underneath his nose here, like a shadow part, but you don't really need to draw this bit in, but I'm just gonna add it anyway. Just like under there. Might be some scratch marks on his face, just because he's been in a long old fight with Obito. So, you can do as much of that as you'd like. Okay, so, rest of his headband, so the metal plate, right. So we'll go, we'll go up like so, a little bit. And then the metal plate will stick out a little bit here. And then it'll go up this side. Like so. And he's got like a piece of hair sticking here. And then the rest of the headband plate will go around. Like this. Wrap around the other side. So it's just, we can only see one side of it. And then we have some curve lines to represent those bolts that hold it on and we can just see like some of the writing just on the side you can't see too much so just like these sort of shapes coming up and around this side just there but you can't really see much so then this hair spike goes up a bit more that way and then the headband's going to come across here, but he's got like a piece of hair that stick down across it. So it goes that way. We have a hair spike here. And then we'll go just a bit further. Another one. back 
going back now beyond his ear and down towards the back of his neck like this and then so his headband will let's see do, do, do. Well, one more spike actually so just here right and then we have the rest of his headband come down here and it just goes underneath his ninja armor sort of greens you know that green arrow armor that they wear so just here this is the collar and it's going to come down go underneath that piece of hair come down past his jaw like so and it touches his shoulder just there and then we'll just have the end of his headband like that and some lines for his hair coming down from say his ear there and a couple of texture lines for the hair inside there like so and the front of his neck just here Okay, so the rest of his hair then. So let's see. Here, we'll go back over to this side and go spike it all the way back. So big hair spikes. One going down that way. Next one spikes up. Like that. Big one now going up here. Down to there. Could have some texture lines on it if you wanted. Next one going back this way. So, next one here, third one, and then we have one coming out from the center here, just like so. Down to there. Another one coming in here. To there. And keep going. Do do do. One there. And this kind of maybe has a smaller one just there. And one more here. Back up to there. Then we have some like, yeah, like a texture line here, maybe a line there, maybe one more hair spike just in the middle, just here. And then he has like the tied part of his ninja headband just coming out from here. So like spikes out to there, spikes back. Yeah, so I think that's it, pretty much. So that goes down there, yeah, just there. Might be a little full line just coming in from his headband, just there at the back. Right, so his shoulder then, just here. So it's big curved line, right? So, so like, so coming out from here, actually. So just like up here. So look, we're in line now just with his mouth. That's where the top of his shoulder sort of pad is. And we're gonna bring it down back here, like that. And the front of it will kind of come out here, like so. So then we'll bring it up this way again. So we'll go out and around, kind of a double line. Does it like be the top of his arm? And then his back will come out from here. So we can line like for his back there. And then another one going off my page this way. Like that. There might be some 
lines there, some texture lines and stuff. So the rest of his arm will come down off the page back that way. And the front of it will come down off the bottom of my page there. So he's like launching himself towards Obito here. And just, we have a button on his back, just like there, with like some texture lines coming around it. And some more armor sort of lines here. And the one under there. And, oh yeah, spiral on his shoulder, so. Like this. And then it comes around full circle. Like so, so it's kind of long. Like that. And then like a fold or two inside here. Like so. Yeah. And you could maybe thicken up this edge line if you wanted. Not essential though. Right, Obito. So, Kakashi, that's done, everything, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, we'll do Obito's nose. So, Obito's nose starts right across from the point of Kakashi's nose, right? So, you're right across from the point of his nose. That's where it starts. So, we go down again. Similar sort of shape. Bring it around. Kind of like that letter L sort of coming around here. Okay. So his brow comes out from there on top and then goes up his forehead. So he's not wearing a headband, so he goes his head goes up just like a little bit further maybe than Kakashi's. Do you know? But it stops just across from Kake the top of Kakashi's mask. Just there. So we can see his nostril, so we've, we'll do that just like here, just on his nose. And then we'll do his top lip, so it comes down like so, goes back into there. And then we can see like a gap for his teeth, so it like comes down a bit further. And then his bottom lip kind of bumps out here. And this might come in that way. And we'll do his mouth while we're here. So just so we know where everything is. So we do a line coming out there. At the back of it comes down here and curves in up to that top lip area just there. This might have a dark shadow on the back just here. And then we'll do in some teeth, just so we realize that these are teeth. Just here. Like that, and maybe an extra, just sort of line coming across here. A light line, broken, just to suggest some teeth in there. Like so. And it's chin, so we'll bring it down like this. So it's, it's much like Kakashi's kind of thing, but just lower, you know? Same sort of angle and everything, just lower down. So Obito's mouth is like in line with Kakashi's chin kind of thing, just there. And then we go around for the bottom of his chin and up for his jaw. So the jaw will go back up this way. that and then the jawline will go up towards his ear just there in the picture these two lines aren't joined together but you could join them if you wanted
So his ear, just in here, much like Kakashi, we have bottom of his earlobe. So the earlobe lines up with Obito's nose, just there. Okay. And then this will go up, like so. And we'll bring it around, like that. And then we have a hair spike. So, like so, just there. With some bones and ligament lines and things inside. You can do ear ligaments and things lots of different ways, so don't worry too much if it doesn't look exactly like mine. People don't really tend to look at ears when they're looking at drawings anyway. That's why so many artists draw them so many different ways. Right, so the rest of his hair comes around here, around his eye. So we'll do we'll do his fringe and then we'll do his eye. So just to get everything in the right place. So we'll just go spike in. Hair around like this. And it comes all the way across his forehead and spikes right down and touches this where we started so we come full circle back up and one like sticking out here and this goes up like so Okay, so his eye then, right? So let's see. So it's, we're here, right? We're above this side of his mouth, right? We're just right above that. So we're just gonna go up from here and we're gonna do his eyelid. So we're gonna go up and over like so, okay? And you can thicken this up. some like extra lines coming off it and a little bit comes down here like that and then the bottom of it curve curving line just under here like that so the angle of his eye is like going that way like Kashi's going this way so it's like here you know and then so is iris so we go curve it around this way so he's, he's looking up at kakashi so we can see the bottom of it just here so just in the middle here we can see his pupil just a little dot just there And then some Sharingan sort of marks around. So tiny little dashes, kind of like that, three of them. It's just the standard Sharingan. Obito of the Sharingan clan. It's a Jia, <laughs> I know. So just little dots and dashes going around the eye there. So his eyebrow then, so it's got, he's, he's frowning pretty heavily. So the frown will come down towards his nose. That's how frowns go. So we go up and over like this. And we take it around like that. And we're just gonna thicken up this bottom end just here. And it's black anyway, so you can color it in. Colored in dark black. Someone said. Someone commented actually, and they're right. Dark black isn't a color. It's just. It's just black. <laughs> I know. It's just I'm in the habit of saying dark black. Just make it dark. You know, it's just shaded in real dark. So, so I end up saying dark black. So then here we just have an eyelid line coming around like so. Just there. And then some like extra sort of 
wrinkle sort of lines underneath his eye there. And then like a frown line coming around here. And then Obito has all those lines on his face, right? So say like he's one coming around his brow area just here and they're kind of real light, kind of broken kind of lines. So one coming from say his nose. So say the wrinkle of his nose there. And then it'll go kind of underneath, kind of a dash, curve around his eye, like so, up to there. And then we've more coming around the top of his forehead, just here. Some more up here. And then coming around his cheeks, right? So, coming this way. So all these scar lines. See on his nose, like that. Like here. And coming around to there. Another one maybe here. And then going down this way. Side his mouth now. So he's very scared. He's had it rough. Poor old Bito. And then going down this way. Like so. And then the rest of his hair, so we'll just spike it back, going back this way now. Like this. So like from the chin to say his eyebrow there, is about the same from the eyebrow to say the top of those spikes. So say the, the eyes are usually halfway down the head, so the eyes to the chin, that'll bring you to like the top of his skull and then the spikes stick up over that, just if you're worrying about how, how high up you're going. So it's like from chin to eyebrow is the same as eyebrow to top of spikes, maybe. Yeah, just about. The eye is halfway down the head. So that's how high up we're going. Maybe to the middle of his eyebrow. Yeah, just here. That's about the same distance, approximately. And then we go spike it back here. And then we go back like so. And another one coming down here. And then there, there, down to there. And then his hood, so it's kind of a Katsuki sort of hood that he wears. Big collar, so it like curves around here from around his hair. Comes right down past his jaw. Like so. And we're stopping here because we got that metal bar coming across. You, we'll, we'll fin, we'll, we'll, we'll like keep, I don't know what to do. Um, let's just keep going. So you can rub out this part where it goes over the bar, right? So, but that's like the inside of his his collar, and then his neck. So will come down into here, okay? And another neck muscle line just there, and then some more hair just in here in his yeah, and like some hair lines coming up this way. Like another hair spike maybe there. Like so. Some hairlines going like off that way. And 
And I think there's like a shadow under his jaw just here. So then the bottom of his hood will run off the bottom of my page that way. And the back of it comes down just here, like so. So then his, his hand is like here, so he's like doing this kind of thing and the bar is coming right out, aiming for Kakashi's like neck, pretty much, right? So we have fingers on top, right? So we're, we'll do those first. So we'll go out like this, take your time with fingers. This curves down for a knuckle, curves back the other side. Let me do that again. Curves out like so, down for a knuckle, and we'll go back. Goes off my page, the hand just goes off the back of my page there. Um, so then this is like a finger here, top of it, and the bottom of the finger just like goes up this way. You can just see the tip of another finger just here. And then this bumps back, like so, into there. And then the top of the next finger, is, I think it's his little finger, curves back that way. We might have like a fold line or something in there, because he's got gloves on. So then the palm of his hand kind of bumps down this way. Right? And so there's like wrinkles, sort of lines in here, and a line coming up this way for the inside of his finger, and like a full line there. So now, so the bar comes out from there. So you might need a ruler for this one. So it comes from here. All the way up to like right under Kakashi's chin, just here. So we're going right. So I'll just draw in this curved sort of line here. That's where the bar exits, just here from his hand, and then runs up to here. So, okay, and then there's like an oval. So this is like sharp, kind of here. So it kind of curves around, pointy like that. And then becomes this sort of oval, cut off sort of thing like that. Okay, if you've ever seen metal bars cut at, a, at an angle, that's what it is. It's real pointy there. And then we join this back to here with a straight line. And you could have like a line or two going down it, like that, but nothing major. And we erase these lines in here. And then we just finish his hand. So the inside of the palm of his hand comes down like so. We maybe have like, like a line for the palm of his hand going down here, here. And then his thumb. So we can just see the other side of his thumb, just there behind the bar, bumps down, back in maybe a fold line or two there. And then some lines coming down his cloak or his hood, just running down fold lines, coming down like here. Like that. So, I'm pretty sure that is everything. How to draw Kakashi. Versus Obito. Hope it was helpful, guys. And as usual, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.